we're back in Once Human, and now it's the uh, Way of the Winter, you know, the new scenario, not Manubius anymore, so I'm not sure what's going to be involved, except for I have to kind of deal with um, temperature stuff, and we're back to the beginning. I did bring in my baton, though. So I made myself some like really low level gear. Um and I brought in I brought in some controllers, I brought in my stardust. Um I don't think I brought in ammo. I brought in a little bit of food because I remember the game saying that I was going to need canned food and soda. So I brought in some of that and all this is still on my inventory. I did bring in a couple of choice uh, what do you call these things? Um, deviants. I brought in my original cat. <laughs> I brought in my, um, Moonlit Jewels cat as well. And, uh, my special nutcracker that I got after the season finished. So, yeah, I've got, like, my little selection of the things I think are the most important. And I still left myself points this time, unlike last time. So, in the event that they there is something that I need, I can still bring it in out of like my inventory and stuff. So, uh, all my shit's currently, as you can see, just like over in, uh, what do you call it? My island stuff. So I didn't bring any, um, seeds this time though. So I figured that there was going to be really hard to potentially plant shit. I wanted to see how the world would be first. Um, also my person's kind of like, because it took a while to choose my shit. She's been in here for a while and she got really hungry and really thirsty. I also don't think Nick and I could partner up until we finish this initial area. So I think this is kind of like last time. Where we've just got to talk to Mitsuko. Uh, go outside, fight a thing, and then we get released. So some of it's kind of back at the beginning. Like if I check out the map. Like for anybody that's played this a couple times, you will see that there's a ridge that we lived on. Um... There is that, like, inactive monolith that you go and explore to begin with. The orchards and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So down here is the same, right? Um, we also had a base way over... Wait, wait, wait. We were over here at one point. We were up in this little spot here. And we couldn't go across this bridge. We went across the bridge, it would engulf us in butterflies and we'd be told to turn back so this is all one map by look of it now and before i go up too much higher just in case anybody just wants to shut their eyes for a second and doesn't want to see the whole map um yeah so they've got different sections up here which i'd be curious to go check out i'm not sure not sure what we got so i just start off with like checking out mitsuko I think Nick's deciding what he wants to bring into the game at the moment. I think he's deciding on like deviance and shit. But um, yeah. Uh, hey Mitsuko. I don't have to talk to you apparently. So do I have to do anything with this? I don't want to put... And Azula is going mental <laughs> at one of the doors. If you guys can hear that in the background, don't mind. She's fine. She just doesn't realize that we're in the room. Alright, so I've already completed two journey things. I've got my butterfly in my backpack. Now, I do have a gun. Does it tell Nick to just bring everything? Oh, you can't. You need to get like 20,000 points. Hold on. So if I go into here, if I click transfer, I, I'm down to only about 3,000 left. But you're only allowed to get like 20,000. If I'm to like, if I grab say 1,000 ammo... It takes a lot. Like, if I wanted to bring in this, like, Tungsten Ally Pickaxe, which is, like, a really high-level pickaxe, like, it uses up a lot. So, yeah, it's, um, it's kind of like a pick-and-choose situation. Like, I made, I'm tossing up if I want to bring them in, I, I made a low-level, um, DBS, and I made a really low-level Hammer Crumble to bring in. Um, I also made a low-level, um... What do you call it? Submachine gun. SMG thing. So I made all of those because I remember last time when we tried to bring in our top tier shit, we couldn't do it because it required level 40. And we didn't read that. 
So if I was to try to bring this in, I would not have the points. But I could probably bring in that. I could bring in a low level gun and I might, but I can't bring in ammo for it. So there's no point in me bringing those in until I need them. Or alternatively, if I need like acid or... I, I only brought in like 200 odd controllers instead of the full 300. So yeah, I'm just going to wait to see what I need. So Azula has joined us up on the desk. I recall right, I think I just have to do some basic stuff. I'm not as like concerned about the place now as initially. Is that a projected shadow from one person? It has so much energy. Be careful. This man, even just his shadow, is incredibly powerful. I have to say, this can't be good. Uh, investigate the mysterious intruder in safe haven. I was going to say, I don't remember this guy from last time. Ah, there you are. You're the Mayfly, right? Who are you? How do you know who I am? Not just that. How did you get into the sanctuary? All paths here should be closed off. I was sure of that. Of course, V. You're not wrong. They should be closed off. This sanctuary is quite well concealed. Those from other planes, mortals, even great ones, none can perceive it. But me? Well, I'm like that lovely girl here. I'm able to move between many worlds. In short, there's no place I can't reach. <laughs> My name's Igna Sinclair, leader and founder of the Vultures. Have you heard of me? Maybe not, but it doesn't matter because you and I are destined to meet in a land of frozen snow and burning lava. We'll form quite a unique bond. Now, will you excuse me? I'd like to find the young lady here. She must be looking forward to meeting me. She's so powerful. Why are you just a shadow? You didn't let me down. You're not scared by a little trick. That's right. I haven't been able to find my way in here properly yet. Right now, I'm just giving you a glimpse. A tease of what I can do. But you'll see soon enough. I've prepared a special gift in the mountains of North Nalkat. The North will soon be under my control. After that, I will find my way here, to meet you, in person. So, will you come stop me? Do you think we're idiots? This is clearly a trap. Yes, it's a trap, I admit it. But <laughs> if you don't come, we'll crush any survivors, conquer all of Nalkat, and from there, many other worlds. Although if you do come, well, nothing will change. I'll swat you down, Mayfly, and have no trouble ripping off your wings to add to my collection. Well, now I feel like he's trying to scare you off. You know, maybe we should go show him the error of his ways. I can't wait. Soon enough, you'll guide me to the door of this sanctuary. I'll be waiting for you, so come find me up in the mountains of the north. And if you don't... I'll come find you. Human beings have always created. The means of their own submission. Voluntarily blinding themselves to the rules that dominate them. Their base instincts have remained frozen, unchanging. But now, we shall spark a new flame. 
we shall torch the old hypocrisies. And light a new way forward. In our wake, a cold peace shall prevail. Wow. Powerful. Otherwise, he wouldn't have found us, let alone reached us. How much of what he said is true? North Nolcott. I know it's full of ice and snow with a harsh climate, but... Besides that, what awaits us there? Let's go talk to Mitsuko first. She must know something. Well, they made it very, very cool. Um, like, I was wondering how it was going to progress. Like, I don't yet know if when I come out of this, because, like, obviously, like, there's this whole area that you can obviously run through and do again. But to have the time to go up into, like, these areas, to explore the snow and all that sort of stuff. I'm curious how long this fucking season is and how much time we've actually got to get up there and get ready for it. Um, but the fucking video, holy shit. Discuss, uh, Ignis' plot with Mitsuko. That man, Ignis Sinclair. You've already talked to him, haven't you? I did. He wants to destroy the world and invade the sanctuary. Yes. And I'm afraid he's not bluffing. That man's growing in power. Not only that, he has the vultures under his command. The future, all possible futures, could really belong to him. Hey, calm down. Let's go. I know you're afraid. But I've never seen you so panicked. It seems he really left you shaken. That's right. He... he is also a meta. Ambitious and talented. Even through his shadow, I could clearly feel it. He really might succeed. The North falling into his hands thanks to his living weapons. All those who resist wiped out. I saw it. It was... From there, things might get worse. Igna covets more than one world. And this is his next target. I... I'm not sure if I can stop him. He craves so much power. It sounds like I need to bring him down. Well, just be aware. Igna's expecting that. After all, that's why he appeared before you and V. He's luring you there to take you on early. Maybe you'll stop him, but maybe he'll claim a total victory. <laughs> well, at least he's honest. He didn't hide his intentions. Besides, if we don't go, his victory is a sure thing. Really, what else can we do? Just give up and let him win? I'm glad you're still so optimistic, my friends. But watch out. It will be a difficult battle, and you'll be fighting it in a strange, harsh land, one you've never been to before. Thankfully, I can sense something else. Some variables that might help, including new friends. When it comes to the North, just be careful. That's all I ask. I hope you'll succeed, and that we'll see each other again soon. After this storm has passed. It'd be really cool to see, like, how this is going to send me there. I wonder if I should take my butterfly out of here. I might just steal it back for the moment. Just so that when I leave here, I've got it with me. Just in case. Oh, hello. Earthpoint region list. The Frostforge Whaleborn... 
wish land are less honest. Okay, so you can start in different areas. <laughs> Camp Igaloo. Column, Outpost, Dried Harbor. Okay. Like, that place looks kind of cool, but let's see. Metahuman is... Pardon? It's the range of the difficulty, apparently. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. with the, the text reader around, around, it says this region has is oh. higher level recommended for experienced players. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder if that's just, like, experience as in, you know how they sometimes say or suggest that we should have uh, played the game before having done this versus being a higher level? You're probably going to go to the Frost Forge. Hmm? Frost Forge. You want Frost Forge? All right. We can go Frost Forge. I like how Nick leveled just then. What the fuck did you do to level? Advanced to the sunlight. Oh my god. I have some of my drink for that. Watch out, Sugrim. You're still around. Um, how was your early morning? Oh, I'm just watching. Nick's screen loads in so much faster than mine, so he's already loading in. <laughs> I'm just like, huh? Yeah, you'll be on the ground, and I, I won't have loaded in. It takes ages to like get to there. I'm trying to get some of my drink. Oh man. Yeah, this should be pretty cool, because um, like it should be sort of mostly a new world biome. I hope. Like, by the sounds of it, I think we could potentially go back out of the north, but it should technically keep us up here. I'd want to hope so anyway. I'm questioning if we can buddy up once I land. And if so, if all those are just automatically going to be dead, Nick. Nick's already in a house, destroying everything. And... I am still on the uh, loading screen. This is my life. <laughs> Whenever we play Once Human, for some reason, Nick's computer just, like, gets us there. Oh, shit. As far as I can tell, my thoughts are really just that because I'm streaming, maybe it uses uh, more resources, slows it down, stuff like that. I reckon Nick's over here. Something like that. I not around and my morning was bad. I tried to sleep early but did get to did get no sleep. So that's pollution getting worse. And it's sunny. Um oh, it's the same too. Huh? It's the same too. Nice. Alright, well when I learn I'll try to add you. Um I merely missed my appointment because I was starting to fall asleep. I think that's just like the way of life, honestly, is you just kind of like you get tired just as you're trying to fall asleep. Quick, let's scan the area. Make sure it's safe here and we'll work on what to do next. What is that? What is this thing? I can't do anything with it. Oh, it looks like a it looks like a black and blue cube thing. You know one of the things where we gotta like set something on fire or something nearby? I wonder if it shows you more clearly that it exists now. Because like a lot of people could not find them originally. Uh, we lucked out on like a lot of stuff. But um, you know that kind of sucks about like not getting enough sleep. But that is very on brand for like anytime you have an appointment is- oh hello gun. It's just um, knowing that like you're just not gonna sleep because- oh, Are you out killing reindeer Nick? Yep. Fucking Nick's over here killing Christmas. Also, I don't know if anybody's seen the preview for it, but there is apparently like a- Oh god, what is this? <laughs> bison. <laughs> it's a bison. Hold on. Um, there's like a Christmas action movie coming out. I saw a preview for it. It's got like the it's rock and stuff. Huh? It's a buffalo. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not really surprised that it's a buffalo. Come on, let me through the window. Um... Right yeah, I will in a second. Just trying to like get through the house that you kind of like already ultra looted. I've got a pistol, and I brought in my, I brought in my decent baton. Let me through the window. Where did you go? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, 
Well, I don't have a hive set up yet. You. Yeah, can I get you into team? See, yeah, create a hive. I don't know. Um, it's cool. Actually, that's good. Let's go with that. It's cool. <laughs> There's a new one. All right. Um, yeah, okay. Recruit member. Let's get Nick. No, I don't want to recruit like that. Team. Can I just... Uh, where's your thing? I want to invite you to the new hive. There we go. All right. There we go. That'll make it easier for later. Yeah, so I'll be able to spot Nick out in the field now. He's over this way. I can't seem to, like, run or anything. I ended up getting, like, fuck bugger all sleep today. Now, like, an hour or two. I'm also going to need... I guess I'm going to need a pickaxe, aren't I? Um, I'm not going to be able to make that until I get a, get a place. It's fine. Actually, hold on. Can I just... Oh, I can't put it down yet. I don't have any gear on me. Those were berries. What are you doing over here? What are you up to? Next, cutting down trees. Why? All those birds just like hovering in me there. Where? Hold up. What is this? Spike tomato. All right. Spike tomato. Sunny, sunny what ginger. What? Where? Oh god, what the fuck is that thing chasing you for? What did you do to it? Yeah, uh, I'm not gonna take that on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come back here, you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to absolutely cap it in the house. <laughs> god damn. That was a one hit. That was like me and Diablo yesterday. So where is the bird you were talking about? Oh, I flew away. Okay. Yeah, I saw there was a zipline. I wonder if we can use it. It's pretty far. Oh, you can. You can use it. Don't use it yet. What? Fuck's sake, Nick. You leave the buffalo alone, eh? I'm also pretty hungry. Hold on. I did bring canned foods, but... Where did I find this earlier? This place is pretty cool. A little fucking disorientated. Because it's been like a hot fortnight since I played. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna get you some food. And a bit more drink. Because she's pretty hungry. Here are a couple of those. I don't think that's redeeming. I'm down to 75, so maybe. Okay, let's check out food. Because I sat in like the menus for ages while I was like sorting out what I did and didn't want to bring. I didn't want to bring anything too fancy from like before because I don't know what I need yet. Nick, stop fucking serenading me. I, I saw that. Nick's out here doing a full pitch fucking ballad. <laughs> Come on you. <laughs> Obviously, everybody's, like, set up a few homes around here, just like, you know, previously. I wonder how hard it would be to bring in one of the previous spaces. Actually, I'm gonna need to get... I need to chop down a tree so I can get some wood. So I can actually make a, um, tent. So then I can make an axe. And then I can get copper to make a better axe. Decorative beach. Yeah. There's wood on the ground. Huh? There's collectible wood on the ground. Is it? Yeah. You know, like ten. Hmm. I'll have to take a look. I love. I like the reindeer. Like, I did see a list of different animals that they have in the game, and there's it's quite extensive. The other thing too is because this is only like the first week, as well. It's like, we're a few days behind. We didn't get to get in last week. Um, right as it loaded. So we're like half a week behind. But um, none of these animals so should have... What is this? Contaminated? 
Contaminated berries. Cool. Um, none of the animals should have mutated types yet. Hold on. Can I don't have a bow. If I could run this bastard down, I could get me some rabbit meat. <laughs> My general like ability to run down rabbits is not pretty good. Whoop, there we go. Okay. Uh there's random like reindeers just chilling in people's spaces. So I guess probably first things first is where the fuck are we? There's a riff anchor collapse bridge. I'm guessing where we landed we kind of like just rolled up on um like a a dungeon stronghold. There is a whale born there's a um are you going towards the Okay, I'm going up towards the whale bay. Oh no no, I'm not going down and around, I'm going across. Let's not do that. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go up to the uh teleporter and at least get that. I might as well. And then if I can get some oh no, hold on, you're right, there is fucking wood around the place. I wonder what the point of that is. Maybe people don't enjoy chopping down trees. There's so much fruit here. Yeah. Well, they did say that food would be scarce once you're in the snow. So my guess is that it wants you to like harvest the fuck out of this and at first convenience try to maybe make some cans and some soda and stuff, maybe? Games have taught me anything. It's avoid attacking chickens. I don't think this has chickens. Have you seen chickens in here yet, Nick? Um, I don't know. Maybe the winter sounds good. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, no, a lot of the animals are okay. The only ones that are bad so far we've found are the bears, the, um, what are they, the jaguars? The boars are kind of pissy. These guys also are a bit pissy, but I got a stronger weapon than they have. Whoops. There we go. <laughs> Fine. They, uh, they move in herds, so, um, you get attack one, you kind of get attacked by multiples, so I kind of forgot about that. It's alright. I'm sort of a little off course. I kind of want to straighten up and go this way. And some people have already got like pretty decorative shit in their base. Yeah, a lot of the animals are pretty much fine. Like, there's all kinds of quests to like hunt animals, get leathers. Um, nothing to say get food yet, I don't think. Join Hive, we did that. I have one friend. Yep. Investigate. Uh, place a Deviant. I haven't used a Deviant in combat yet. Whoa. Mate. Fucking wrong choice. You can also, um, you can take these and, like, breed them and stuff. So that's another thing you can do with the animals as well if you want. You can collect certain types of animals and then like breed them together to get like special rare coats and sell them and shit. So I, I gotta admit, I do like once human. I really did have fun exploring Venubius, like the first scenario. My only thing was that like I didn't know much about this sort of game. So when I actually was playing it, I was quite lost and it took me a long time. To get through Manubius. But now, now that we're in way of winter, like, sure, there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve on shit that I need. But at least I don't have to work out the basics, like, you know, where's my fucking journey? Fuck off. Also, I don't have that learning curve of, you know, boar sneaking up on me. I gotta admit, we're getting, like, really high level, like, they're level ones, but we're getting, like, boars and shit, you know, things that will attack you. Whereas, um, before, we only had like deers and rabbits and stuff. The stream looks pretty nice. Hold on, can I get some water from here? This looks so fucking pretty. Also, the swimming mechanic is like hilarious. It's it's generally pretty fast when you can like get going, but it's very nice. Like I'd I'd love to like just like I don't know swim around in something like this. It's this clear. It'd be beautiful. Although I can't collect water. Uh, there we go. You get me a little bit of water gone. I have got soda. This will help.
I'm hoping that this specific 100 will do. I'm hoping this specific scenario is maybe going to be longer than the six weeks Manuvius ones. Because, like, they were great and everything. But at least from the perspective of a streamer that was streaming the story side of it only, like, once or twice a week, it was really quite difficult for me to keep up um, with everything going on. Like, it's one of those ones where I kind of have to dedicate, like, a Wednesday and a Friday multiple times a week. Uh, f multiple streams a week, you know. Is it Jesus Nick? Yes, Nick's here. Um, Snipe was saying that, like, you're Jesus Nick. 